the biggest problem in the self development space is this. Before I talk about it, why am I making this video? I'm making this video because there are men out there, in fact, tens of millions of young men who are looking up to guys who they think are aspirational. They dress well, they speak well, they are engaging, captivating, magnetic, charismatic. They've got that aura and charm about them. They talk about things that make sense and they deliver results on their online spaces, on their online platforms. They deliver results to talk, tell you about various investment platforms, how to upskill, how to hustle, how to make money, how to get women, how to dress better, how to speak better, how to get in shape, how to essentially become a better man. The big problem, however, is whilst all this is good, in fact, dressing good, smelling good, speaking better, making more money can align quite nicely with Islam. Islam teaches you to be a strong, in shape, masculine man who is very much in tuned, aligned with his masculine essence. The big problem, however, which is the title of this topic, of this talk, is what is the problem with all this? The problem is here. There's a big vacuum there. There's a huge, huge vacuum. These self-development gurus, whether it's Hamza, whether it's Iman Gadji, whether it's even Tate, for instance, or <coughs> people like First Man, Alex Costa, a lot of these guys are talking about self-development without the lens of Islam. They're doing it for the sake of self-development. For instance, let's say first man. Or, yeah, just generally all of them. I don't want to specify, but they are talking about self-development with the end goal of just becoming a better person. <coughs> for some of them, the self-development goal may be to get more women, to get more money, to get more clout and fame. All these chasing these things are inherently problematic for Muslim men. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Have you not seen the one or prophet who has taken his desires as his gods? All these guys, if you look at them, they, they most likely have had traumatic um, childhoods. For instance, they probably were bullied for being ugly. They probably didn't get female attraction. They probably grew up very poor. These are traumas. A very good book, if I can find it here, called The Body Keeps the Score. A very good book. Great book. And I've read a lot of psychology. I've read a lot of um, mental health and things about trauma, how it penetrates our collective conscience and how it manifests both as a overextension and compensatory behavior you see in a lot of these self-development type <coughs> guys. So that's one thing, they're probably bullied for their looks and if you look at most of them, they're very, you know, they, they concentrate solely on looks. That's, that's become their God. And with a small g, <coughs> what Allah says, have you not seen the one who takes his desires as his God? That's, that's number one. Number two, their north star is completely misaligned with, with that of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, I did not create man or jinn except to worship me. That's our end goal in life, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything we, sh we do should be with that lens. Our lens, our primary motivation for doing something, our chief and principal objective should be to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Worship does not mean just praying your salah or giving your zakat. Worship could be in your job. Worship could be when you're intimate with your wife. This is worship. 
is a form of ibadah if you do it with the right intentions. The problem with the self-development space is their intentions are completely skewed. Their intentions are just to get money for the sake of money so they can flex. It's just to get um, women, I, I improve their looks and improve their game and, uh, and their finesse so they can get women. Why? Because just to fill that void, that void is what? Emptiness, ho you know, hollowness from childhood to get women so they can have the trophy girlfriend, whatever. A very shallow, hedonistic, degenerate way of living. <coughs> Bismillah. That's two. Number three is, they're talking about self-development from a very, very narrow point of view. Yeah, some of them talk about finances, etc. But they miss the most important aspect of self-development. Moral self-development. Are you improving your morals as a human being? Are you more empathic? Do you have more integrity, sincerity, authenticity, courage? These guys are victims and beholden and they are slaves to their desires. Whether that's desire to be liked and loved, desire to be known, desire to be with women, desire to, to have more money. These are desires and they have become slaves, enslaved to these. And they talk about the matrix and, and escaping the matrix, but they have essentially become slaves to their own desires. As Muslims, we have a greater purpose, we have a greater way of thinking, we have a greater objective in dunya, which is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the issue with these self-development guys. They lack the overriding principle, which is self-development for the purpose of becoming a better Muslim. And we know this, the ideal Muslim is strong, he is fit, he is prudent, he is savvy, he is smart, he is sharp, he is generous, he is courageous. All the attributes that who had, the Prophet ﷺ. He was well groomed, he was handsome, he was in shape. He had a smile, he was strong, he could wrestle, he could speak very, very well. He was charismatic, he was brave, he was soft. Storage is low apparently, so okay. <coughs> After the latest video, quicker than I thought. That's the slot development space for non-Muslims. Although ironically some of them are Muslim by name, which is very ironic. So that, that was the problem. Muslim youngsters are looking at these guys and f maybe following them, but not knowing that these guys are shayateen in human form. Uh, yeah, finish this video inshallah. Uh, okay, and then they go into the Muslims. The Muslim self-development space is very, very Unidimensional. These guys only talk about one, two, three things. The guys that talk about finance aren't in shape. The guys in shape don't talk about finance. The guys uh, who are talking about deen and self-development and tasqiyatul nafs, they're not in shape, they're not aspirational. So the aim of the model Muslim channel, inshallah, is to be aspirational in every single sense of the word. Be academic. Be astute. Be articulate. Be aesthetic and athletic. Be in shape. Be well spoken. Be well groomed. But most importantly, be a Muslim. Be on deen. Be firm in the deen. Links in the bio. We're here, inshallah, wa ta'ala, to change the narrative with regard to Muslim self development. Join us, inshallah, this year. We'll have guest speakers, inshallah. We'll have live coaching sessions weekly. We love retreats, we've got ebooks, we've got a thriving community, alhamdulillah. We're gonna get some gummies for you guys as well, Shilajit gummies, we're gonna have tips and tricks on biohacking, all the kind of stuff I take personally to keep me in shape, grooming tips, fashion, aesthetics, talking about things you can and can't take as Muslims in terms of supplements as well. Uh, inshallah, join us. So I'll cut this video shorter than I thought, but um, that's it, that's the problem with the salt development community. It's very either vacuous and degenerate. It talks about self-improvement for the sake of self-improvement or it is one-dimensional coming from a Muslim angle and it doesn't talk about everything. The Shabab need everything. Whether being 
bored by the glitz and allure of these degenerates. But Muslim influencers need to step up, but they're not. They're very one dimensional. They're talking about things from one aspect. And as a youngster, I wouldn't want to be like them either. You want to be attractive, in shape, aesthetic, well groomed, in shape, proportional. You know, you're going to have that. That physique about you, you've got to have your brains about you, you've got to have your, your tongue about you, you've got to speak in a compelling, articulate way, you've got to be academic, you've got to be well read on Dean as well, and you've got to have courage, that's the thing here, courage. Do not be beholden to your desires. These guys, they can fight and whatnot, but they're very weak inside, they, they are, they've been enslaved to their desires. That's the highest form of cowardice. So join us inshallah, the model Muslim links in my bio. I hope to see you there inshallah. I may even get you on a live call at some point. But aim is to give you guys value and to really improve the ummah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa one man at a time. Assalamu alaikum.